this is Hannah creating you from the same. Right now we are asked to mostly stay indoors and don't socialize. So we are allowed outside during lockdown. Um, but we're only supposed to go out for essential shopping, which I think is food. There's not really anything else for sale. I was texting with a friend and he told me, actually he sent me a list of all the businesses that were closing and the businesses that were like shutting down and doing work from home. And that really got me to realize that something serious yeah, things were getting serious. We have some rules in here. Some lockdown rules. But people don't do them. People don't follow them. Because they're not forced to. Because they don't see any consequences of not following the rules. So they just go out and live their lives as they always been doing. Lockdown day 375. Well, more like day three. It feels like 375. Tokyo is on lockdown, but it's not quite as serious as what you would find in other countries. We're still allowed to see people, we can still go out. Um, most of the bars and izakayas are required to close at around 8 p.m. now. So, guys. I don't know how it is in your area, in your country, in your city. I'm sorry about my hair guy. I haven't been at hair designer since I don't know when even. So it has been roughly two weeks since the national state of emergency has been declared and that we have been under strict social distancing orders. Most non-essential businesses have shut down while the important ones such as supermarkets and drugstores remain open. As for the people, uh, many are still forced to commute to work where they are not given the option of, of um, working from home. So, uh, what's life like here at the moment in lockdown? It's pretty locked up. Um, we can only leave the house for three reasons. One, to see a doctor. Two, shopping for essential items, whatever that is. Um, and three, mm. one form of exercise every day. So all of a sudden the nation's become really active. So as you all know, here in Spain, the situation is quite hard at the moment as we have been in this lockdown for more than 40 days now. And it's really hard, to be honest. We can only go out in case we have a dog to walk our dog for just 10 minutes, or of course to buy some food to the supermarket. But it's really annoying to see that some people don't respect these rules. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that the best moment of the day is always at 8 p.m when we all go to the window of our homes and we clap for the healthcare workers who are the real heroes of this crisis. Supposedly we do a celebration for the healthcare workers every Thursday at 8 o'clock nationally. Um, there's been a lot of reports in the media of how that's been successful and everyone's been painting rainbows or children have been drawing rainbows and sticking them in their windows uh, as a sign of solidarity and hope. Um, I've actively looked around the neighborhood for rainbows. A las 9 de la noche suele haber un aplauso para médicos, personal sanitario, pero no acá. Acá el aplauso fue el día 1 y duró 30 segundos. Salieron 5 personas. Creo que se dieron vergüenza entre sí y ya no aplaudieron más. DIY with a handkerchief. How do I look? It's actually really comfortable. So, last time I came out was a Sunday. We have a small farmer's market in the area that I started going to because of this pandemic, and it's been great. There's no line to get in like the supermarkets, enough space to keep six feet social distance, and 
just great produce. The strawberries that I got last week made me so happy. I'm not exactly a veggie person, but I've certainly been eating well at home and helped both the local business and my health. Collectively, small happiness is the way to survive this pandemic. Saki Taylor from West Los Angeles. Stay healthy, happy, and safe, everyone. Hi guys. Well, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts. Because there has been a little bit of distress on the group lately because of the list of secrets that were published. Don't let this bring your light down, light bringers. We all can unite and be sure that the secrets we have are safe and we can heal from the past that we all have. Please remember that no one, nobody, is supposed to be a slave of the things he or she has done before. You're not equal to your past. You're free. And you can share your light only with those who want to give you as much back as you give them. This is your right. Uh, so I've got the list here and out of the first that you confirmed that you also know Rene Kupfer and Matteo Peron. Is that correct? Yes. So may I ask you, what's your relationship with them? Uh, Renee and I run a company together, and um, oh, it's it's a bit complicated. And uh, okay, uh, Matteo. Matteo is Renee's best friend, and uh, well, he's the one who introduced me to Renee. Ah, uh, okay, great. Um, and would you say that you know them both pretty well? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So do you think any of the secrets on the list could potentially be either one of theirs? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if... Um, no, um, we won't be sharing this information with anybody else. Um, well, they... Both had very tough childhoods, but I'm sorry, you're gonna have to ask them. I, I do not feel comfortable sharing this kind of information. Sorry. Oh, 
okay, yeah. Okay, sure. Um, no problem. Um, what about anyone else on the list then? We've got the names of the first 11. Hold on. Um, here, let me send that to you right now. Uh, any other names maybe sound familiar? Listen, I've already told you, this is damaging to people's reputations and I just want to be left alone. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Honestly, first of all, believe me, I'm as confused as ev anyone else. No, 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 seriously, this needs to stop. You need to find another hobby. I can't. Yes, you can. There's, it's ridiculous. There's hundreds of things you could be doing. I, I can't because there's something, call it my secret, and I don't want it to be brought to light either. Okay, why are you telling me this? Because as long as Jesse is looking into this, it stops him from looking further into my background. So you know this sounds fun. Um, but how is this my problem? Well, we both want the same thing, right? Attention away from us. All right, I'm listening. So you just pick the most harmless secret, confess it's yours, and voila! The puppy has something to play with, and he'll leave both you and me alone. Yeah, but for how long? I'm sure we just need to stall him. I mean, the whole lockdown thing won't last forever. And right now, he's got some attention because people have nothing better to do. But as soon as life gets back to normal, no yeah. care anymore. Are you sure? I mean, it, it sounds like he's digging up some real dirt. As long as he's digging his own grave, not ours. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Valentina Torres, and I'm a life and business coach. I especially support women who want to improve their quality of life, free themselves from past baggage, or who are interested in running their own businesses independently. Since we are all going through difficult times right now, I decided that I want to give some special discounts to those women who really need it at the moment. So please contact me here if you want to find out what's blocking your way and you want to open new doors to your future. Remember, there is a life waiting for you when this is all over. It's time to create it now. I believe that it was the light that brought me here. I agree with Yelena. It is time to shine as brightly as we can and recognize each other as each other's light bringers. It is time to shine a light on all our secrets, but not with those who will mistreat them. I think it's time to build an army of light bringers and support each other against all odds. I've woken up for a reason, and I invite you to do the same. Wake up to the light. You do this. 
missing from you all. And you know what? I can outrun you. Look at me! Saki, right? How can I help you? <clears throat> I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't quite know where to start. If you woke up tomorrow morning to your perfect life, what would be different from today? I've already lived my perfect life. Everything is fine. It's just... Saki, you have a right to feel whatever you feel. I have doubts. In yourself? Or another person? Someone who should be dead. It's too complicated. I can't explain. Who is or was this person to you? My soulmate. And are you having trouble moving on? <laughs> the thing is, I never thought I wanted to. I was fine. It was... He was still there. You said you had doubts. What about exactly? Whether any of it was real at all. Or if I'd built my entire life since then on a lie.
It felt like I was being restrained and dragged in the dream. Like I could barely keep my eyes open. So I can hear more. Or is it just an echo? And the restraints are gone. I'm free. And the birds are gone too. I don't hear them anymore. I'm just standing all by myself. I don't know what the red bird means. In the cemetery, of course. I was alone. And, uh... There was a lot of sadness. This overwhelming emotion of sadness because I could see all the gravestones of every single person I cared about. Mateo and Tori were there too. And that one back there is my little sister. And it was all my fault. In a moment, como que todas las tumbas alrededor desaparecieron y se iluminó una sola. Y todos está que this gravestone was made of light. I don't need a name on it to know who it belongs to. And then I saw the name, I think it was. What was his name? I knew who that was. And then I see your grave. Now I'm standing in front of a gate. Una puerta. And I could feel the presence of somebody behind me, but I couldn't tell who it was. It was then the voice started. And then I hear a voice. That voice said, You can prevent this. And then I woke up. Hey, kitty cat. So, you know how I told you I was going to reach out to Angel? I did, and nothing. In fact, it seems like he just went completely off the grid. I'm not seeing activity from him anywhere. I don't wanna sound paranoid or anything, but does it seem like something weird is going on here? I mean, it almost seems to me like there's a connection here with everything that happened 11 years ago with Nadia. Okay, I guess I just, I started thinking about it because I don't know if you saw, but Nathaniel Wyke is in the meditation group too. And somehow he's involved with this whole dream story. And then you remember Jesse and Valentina I hooked him up years ago because I lost a bet. They ended up being together for a while, but they broke up a long time ago, yet here we are all these years later and they are in the meditation group too. And then um, you remember that weird German kid that was in the business classes I was taking back then? He's in it too. And he's one of the first 11. I don't know. It just, it just got me thinking, and what if she's still out there? Hace 11 años mi hija Nadia desapareció. Una persona fue arrestada por secuestrarla, pero al final la dejaron ir, que porque no tenían pruebas. Nadia desapareció cuando yo no estaba ahí para protegerla, y eso era lo que yo más quería. Yo siempre quise cuidarla. 
por eso desde hace 11 años he renunciado a todo en mi vida. Ya no me importa nada. Lo único que he hecho día tras día desde entonces es buscar a mi hija, a mi niña. A mi amada Nadia. Si sabes algo. Si ves algo. Si tienes alguna idea de lo que pudo haber pasado el 2 de abril del 2009 en Los Ángeles. Por favor. Te lo suplico. Ayúdame. In Germany, where I'm in, we are allowed to meet another person as long as there's 1.5 meter or 2 meters uh, distance between each other. Um, but there is nothing open, like bars, or there's no, no events happening, which I guess is maybe the right thing to do, you know? Who knows? Um, supermarkets are open, obviously. Pharmacies are open. Um, bookshops are open. I can understand that a little. But building supply shops are open, and car dealers are open, apparently. Or are allowed to open now. We're not open. Why the fuck car dealers? I have no idea. Um, yeah, but basically most people are just staying at home. Though the sun is shining, I'm happy to have a balcony. Where I'm staying in the moment. But not all people have that. And sun is very important. Yeah. I like staying at home. I like staying at home, but I don't like my neighbors to stay at home all the time because they are screaming at the baby and their dog and the baby and the dog is screaming back. At least we can clap. At least we can clap. So here's a clap for everybody who keeps the system running. Thank you. I'm sorry that you don't get any more money for your survival and for your living expenses, but we can clap for you. I saw the healthcare workers and I, I started clapping with my neighbors because we know that they are true heroes, putting their lives up there for us. Maybe one day, those people are the ones who are gonna save my life. So I have immense respect for them. And some of us understand that. <laughs>